Hey, what's going on guys? How are we doing? Welcome to a new video tutorial from iVinvest. Today we're going to create a really nice thing using native JavaScript and yet another tutorial using native JavaScript and like native DOM uh, functionalities. So we're going to create a collapses using native JavaScript, HTML and a CSS. A really, really nice one. So yeah, you can go ahead and check the last video tutorials that we have done in JavaScript if you really want to learn more about native JavaScript, how it works without any, without no libraries actually. You can just go to the iPad dot com search for the tutorials or just go to the tutorials section you can gonna find a lot of all the tutorials that you might really really like about native javascript so we're gonna use copen and this is what i'm gonna create so this is the demo demo actually we're gonna create in today's tutorial so as you can see there's a collapse in here so the collapse has two main, main sections there's a header there's a, like a content container so look, look at the collapse whenever you click that we get this really nice animation so we click that we can toggle it like show it or show the content and hide it and we can get really nice like this height changing animation or this scrolling animation with the collapse whenever we click it so this we are just gonna go ahead and create using the code pen editor uh, the real reason behind choosing code pen because it's easy it's available for all so everyone can choose or everyone can pick up Copen and start coding immediately without setting up anything on his machine or something like that so you still can use any other editors but Copen is still a really nice choice for this particular example just actually for learning a couple of things so as you can see this collapse we're going to create in here and let me just go ahead and start creating it right out of the box so here we go this is the scratch project only there's uh, there's only actually html and css so this is all we have we have no javascript functionalities or nothing like this so yeah we have like a scratch project so start on from from scratch and start coding immediately so here is, is the structure of our collapse it's quite easy structure we have the main container the main container is actually the whole page container which can contains the whole element and we have like the collapse uh, container with a class called uh, just a shortcut for collapse called container so it holds the whole collapse this is the container we're talking about this is the collapse container inside that there is two major elements there's the header and there's the content so the header actually is the blue one in here so this is like the toggle uh, button or the toggle elements which which actually mean uh, that is going to be the elements that we click, we, sh we see the content and we click again and the, the content gets higher. So this is like the crucial elements that are going to allow us to toggle between this, the open state or the visible state and the hidden state of the collapse. So the other thing, as I've said, the contents which holds the actual collapse content. So this content is going to be like hidden whenever we click that and showed uh, whenever we click the vice versa. There's also the style, so I will make sure to go ahead and grab it if you really want to like follow along the video tutorial. And yeah, you can go ahead to the Copen, the projects, or the link in the description below on the written story on my website. Just go there and grab this link and you can just pick it up and start playing with it immediately. So there's like the main container using the flex design. Uh, there's like the column. Uh, the column item each each item in here just giving it some colors and stuff and this is like the most important part in here i'm just giving you some comments to tell you that this is the important part uh, of the css style or css code uh, we have the container which got like a flex box design just to find the content just giving it like a center uh, between the x-axis and the y-axis and we have the width the, the full width the full height and a margin and we have like header content and yeah this is this is all we can we have got right there so we have the container in here which holds the full width we have 500 pixels with a width and then some kind of a margin and, and then this is all of it so it's, as you can see it's quite simple style now let's just go ahead and start and pick up javascript in here and start working with uh, with our dom a little bit so first things first what we need is we need to grab this element like we need to reference this toggle button as well as we need to toggle the contents in here why we need to toggle between or both of these uh, containers is that because this is the one so whenever we need like to assign an event or the click event on this element so we need to tell it whenever the user clicks on this either show this or hide it uh, depending on the current state and also we need to pick that this one to change the current state of it or the, to change the current style of it so we need to pick up uh, the, the the content or the collapse content container so let's just go ahead and do that so we have collapse container and I'm just going to use the documents dot get elements by class name so if, if you can just clearly see in here we're only using classes so we need to click get the classes by name and we're going to like go with co column just content we're going to like reference this content area in here and since this returns an array so we need to access the first element so the get elements by class name always return like a collection or an array so make sure to access the first one since we only have one element uh, has the this class so yeah just referencing one element the next thing is 
uh, let's just go with like header uh, or like collapse header and um, it's gonna also gonna need to use the documents and get elements by ID so documents that get its elements by class name and we're gonna give it like a column dash header so yeah quite simple thing we're doing the same thing in here and we're gonna grab the first elements from the array so here we've got the both of the things that we need to work on or work with pretty much so the collapse container and the collapse header now what we need is to assign the click event on the collapse uh, here. So whenever we click this collapse header, so remember we are using the collapse header in here, it's the same thing, it has the same text. So whenever we click that, we need to toggle the current state. What I mean by toggling the current state is changing uh, the current state, whether if it is actually hidden, we need to change it to visible. If it is visible, we need to hide it and vice versa. So this is what toggling between uh, like the current state actually means. So let's just go ahead and add that. So we need like collapse header and the on click events so we need just to quietly edit do that now also one other one another, another really quick uh, uh, thing to tell you about is make sure to go ahead and choose the Babel configuration for the JavaScript since I'm using in here if, if you have like if you've got any problems or something or issues make sure just go ahead and change it pretty quickly over there now for the on click what we want is to go ahead and show that but first since it's already being showed what we want is the collapse when, when, when we like start the page the collapse starts in a, like hidden mode so the collapse starts already collapsed in a hidden mode so that, that therefore when you just go to the style and we need to just scroll the way down, go to the content, and here we need to add a couple of properties. So first property is the opacity. We need to change the opacity to zero, so like hide it completely. Also, we're going to use the visibility and change the visibility to uh, hidden. So like the initial state is going to be hidden. So whenever we start or refresh the page, the user is going to see the collapse, like already collapsed or hidden away. So this is the like actual thing we're going to need or we actually need to add. It's quite basic thing. Now the on click, what we need is just very, very simple. We need just to show it up. So we need to go with uh, collapse container. Okay. And we're going to need to go with the style. So we need to access the style of objects and we need to change the current style. We need to change first the visibility, visibility, and to change it from hidden to visible. And the next thing, uh, let me just copy that. So I don't really need to type it. Uh, the same thing and the next thing is going to be the opacity I'm just going to need to change the opacity to 1 now if we try to refresh that as you can see uh, wait a second we click that and we get this showed up for, for us uh, like successfully with no problems but the problem is we still like whenever we click it we don't get this hidden again because we are not actually toggling between the states so to do that we actually need to find the current state and like you know do the vice versa of the current states or like uh, not the current state. So to do that, we actually need to use an if statement to check the current state. So we can go with um, we can go with uh, collapse container dot style, and we just copy that very quickly. So dot style, we need to access the visibility and actually see or check if the visibility is actually hidden. So what we want is we can show it up else if so if the visibility is like already actually uh, visible what we need is to toggle between that that means we need to change it to hidden so quite simple so equals to visible so we need to change the vice versa thing so here we need just to put visibility equals visible and the next thing is the opacity so we need to change this to one. So the highest opacity, if you if you're not actually already familiar with that, is one. So and the lowest opacity value it can takes is a zero. So yeah. Uh, now visibility again, and we can put this to uh, since so it's visible. So we need to change the state or its state to hidden. And the same thing goes with opacity. We can change that to like zero, which means completely hiding it. Now, if we try to do that, as you can see, it refreshes pretty quickly. Well, that you do have just actually spelled that wrong. So this is collapse content, and this is called collapse container. So we just go 
with an easy thing or an easy fix to change this to collapse content and that should do the job perfectly for us now if we try actually to click that very very quickly and we get this toggle between the, like multiple states so as you can see whenever we click that we get this hidden we get we click it vice versa we get this shown correctly for us so this is like the toggle functionality and this is how it actually works it's very basic and it's very simple you click it and it shows either changes the current state so either from visible to hidden or the vice versa state so as you can see this is working but we still we are not having or we're not actually uh, doing the animation so the most important part about collapses is actually doing the right animation which is the collapse animation like you know growing the height whenever you're trying to show the the, the collapse or like just shrinking the height slowly or over time whenever you're trying to hit hide the the collapse so yeah this is what we are actually going to do and we're going to use some like transactions on using the css transactions properties in order to do that very quickly so first things first we need to go ahead into the transaction and we actually going to need to go to the call, call collapse contents under the style and we need to go with transaction property and we need to add a transaction property so just go with max height so we need to change the actual height of this one very slowly so we need to transaction or we need to add a transaction for the for the height and why we are specifically using the max height instead of the height because the max height is gonna whenever we set a max height from an element that gonna mean it's gonna just set that max threshold but it's not gonna set the real height to it which means it's gonna, gonna set the height to auto but the max height is gonna be sitting right there so it would just like you know uh, like watch it it won't go or it won't go more than the max height so this is the the basic uh, meaning of a max height so that's why we're gonna use it to set the actual height of auto because setting a, a max or setting the actual height to auto using like animation or transaction on CSS is quietly uh, not functional it won't work for you just gonna like not work at all because this is this is really wrong to do so yeah this is the right way to do it now we need to add the actual transaction so we can go with I don't know 300 milliseconds and we can go with um, I don't know ease okay so we can go with ease in out and that sign seems quite simple right there so yeah this this transaction seems quite good and also we need to in set like an initial max height so the max height or the initial max height is going to be zero pixel so since we're going to just see this collapse already or hidden so that means the height is going to be like zero so yeah this is all we're going to need to add now whenever we want to toggle it we need to change the height depending on the current state we are toggling to so we need to go with this container or pretty much this is not this is not the one we are looking for so let me just copy that very quickly and we're gonna go with like max height and make sure to use the camel casing in here so there's no dashes on javascript and we can just set this to like a random number let me just go with 300 pixels so this is the state of setting it to visible and the next state is gonna be uh, max height is going to be zero pixels so this means like hiding the current collapse so that's mean just like shrink the max height so zero pixel so this is all you're going to need to change with ends and hopefully this should work for us perfectly and yet again i was spelling this wrong i was just putting here transaction instead of transition i don't know what's going on with me but this is why i really really uh, don't actually prefer working with a code pen because it's not having like uh, type completion as well as like ESLint or type or JavaScript linting which gives you where where the error are, where the errors actually are on the CSS or whatever JavaScript don't get me wrong but yeah this is this is really actually it so just change it into transition and the property actually works pretty fine now if we try to go to the collapse we just press that and we get this really really nice and smooth uh, height changing over time animation so as you can see whenever we close that we get this closing we, we open that we get this really really nice animation so yeah as you can see the collapse actually works pretty fine in, in a very very easy and simple way you can add more functionalities to that like you know I don't know 
know, you can add some kind of an icon to the left side over there or the right side pretty much over there and you, you can do plenty of other things. You can just go ahead and make the items look custom. You can add cu custom icons to this or images or thumbnails or whatever you really like. You can also change the animation however you pretty much prefer to uh, because this animation is depending on the website style or the web application you're actually working on. So yeah, it's just gonna like work with your own style. So as you can see, this is the collapse. You can you can do plenty of things. You can also take this amount of seconds to a higher number and yeah, it should pretty much work fine here. I think, uh, as you can see, it takes a little bit more time to get down and get up or shrink and expand. So yeah, and a really nice, really, really cool thing. You can, you can, you can do plenty of other things. You can change the animation. You can do your custom things and another cool things. So that was actually guys for today's video tutorial. That was a very basic video tutorial about uh, native JavaScript and how collapses actually work. So those of you who are, who, who was pretty much or who were really afraid or just worrying about how collapses actually work and thinking too much it's quite simple it's very very easy actually so as you can see in here quite simple thing doing a couple of like uh like code or code lines and everything should pretty much work for you pretty pretty fine with no problems you can even take this to a high, a high or the next level and use esx and put it in classes or objects and make it the organizer array and use it like an api uh, over time for your like applications all of your applications gonna work on just gonna have the same collapse without retyping the same code and over and over again so thank you guys for watching i really, really do hope all of you guys have enjoyed today's video tutorial hopefully you can just give me another topic if you really want to learn about anything i would be very happy to hear from you guys and that was actually guys i will catch you all in the next video tutorial